Hi there. Welcome to Caddy Tales, the weekly video series. My name is Scotty Warner and I will be your host. What do you say today we go outside and talk a little bit about terms that we use in the caddy industry and answer some questions from our viewers mailbag. Come on, let's go outside. Outside, where all caddies like to be. We thought it would be fun this week to share a few of the terms that we use in the caddy industry. First one is on the grass. What does that mean? All that means is that as a caddy, we're somewhere out there on the golf course. The next one that you might hear, he's out on the grass looping. What is a loop? Well, a loop means that's 18 holes uh, around the golf course doing a specific job. Now, those specific jobs could entail a lot of different things. For example, we could be out carrying one bag on the golf course. You see this on the weekend on the professional golfer's tour, caddy carrying one bag, single bag. If we're at a private course, we'd like to carry two bags. We call that double bag carry, one for each shoulder. Twice as much work, twice as much money. Now, at some of the resort courses around the country, unfortunately, they don't do a lot of bag carry. That's unfortunate. They do have a four caddy with every group. And a four caddy will go out approximately 100, 200 yards in front of their player, and they'll find the player's golf ball, and they'll have the yardage ready for them before the player arrives. What this does is this helps improve pace of play for the resort courses around the country. Now, a four caddy still has all the same responsibility that a bag carry caddy does. They just have to do it four more times. They'll still uh, fix the divots. They'll still read the putts. Uh, they just have to do it a lot more often. Now, another term that you hear on the weekends is uh, green reading. What makes, what makes a person a good green reader? A lot of things go into making a person a good green reader. You have to know the exact distance of the putt. You have to know... The, is it uphill? Is it downhill? What degree is the slope? Is it one degree, two degree, three degrees? And what kind of angle am I putting towards the hole? If you put all these components together, it should give you an area or a spot to putt. Once you hit that spot, you should be able to make everything. That makes a good green reader. If you would like to learn more about reading greens, send us an email. We'll put you in touch with a company that we feel has an excellent system and will make you a phenomenal green reader in a short period of time. The last one we'd like to leave you with is a helicopter. This occurs when a player hits a bad shot and freaks out all at the same time. They ha ah! ha Forward a club. That's a helicopter. Nothing good ever comes from that. I hope you found these uh, terms enjoyable. And now let's take uh, a look into our mailbag for the week and answer some viewer emails. My mailbag. Cable bill. Yeah, like that's getting paid. Scotty, when you're caddying, how do you read your player? Steve from La Jolla, California. A little trivia fact, La Jolla, California, home of Miramar Naval Air Station, where they filmed Top Gun, number one movie of all time. Bigger box office hit than Avatar and Titanic put together. Uh, Scotty, when you're caddying, how do you read your player? Well, Steve, there are a lot of different components that go into reading your player. One of them is body language. I think this would be an excellent topic for our team at Achieve Insight. So why don't we call them up, ask for their suggestions and feedback, and do a tip of the week on how to read a player. I think that's a good idea. Uh, thanks for the suggestion, Steve. Scotty, what suggestions do you have when you really mess up yardage or give a player a bad read? Mike from Texas. Quit. No, just kidding. Just kidding, Mike. Well, let's let's think about this for a minute. If you're four caddying for four players, that's at least 72 reads 
that you have on the green. Even if you're 95% spot on with your read, that still means you're going to miss three or four of those putts. Just fall on your sword right away. Apologize to the player. Sir, I missed that one. I apologize. I'll get you on the next hole. Chances are they're going to say, don't worry about it, Mike. I healed it, towed it, pushed it, or pulled it. They let you off the hook every single time. Scotty, the Friday videos are very informative. Can you also add some funny ones like the one you had this Wednesday? Thane from Scottsdale. Thane, if it's some funny caddy stories you want in the middle of the week to uh, add some humor, we'll certainly do so. Look for those uh, starting next week. Thanks for the suggestion. Scotty, how does one become a tour caddy? Brian in New Mexico. Brian, I've asked the same question many times, and the answers that I usually get are, when they first start out in their professional career, they'll take a family member, a friend, or a relative that knows their game. Then when they take the step up to the next level, they'll look for an experienced caddy. I have no idea where they look for an experienced caddy, but I guarantee you that is going to change. I have friends all over the country that have been around the same golf course at least a thousand times. If you were a tour pro going to a golf course, wouldn't you want to have access to these caddies that have been around a golf course a thousand times? Think of the knowledge and experience they could add by having them on your bag. It would be unbelievable. So my promise to you is we're going to expand our company in the next couple quarters, and one of the areas that we're going to expand to is finding out how you get to become a tour caddy. And we will make sure that we make this happen. As always, this video series, we'd like to be about what's important for you, the viewer. So please continue to send us uh, your emails. You can send them to caddytales at gmail.com. And we love when you tweet us. Please send us your tweets at caddytales book, and we'll be happy to answer all of them for you. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see you next week.